Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. What's up everyone, Son of Beast and Mepho here. This is the last game of day number one of game number four for in between the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference. And this last one, we've got the Edmonton Oilers and they're facing against the Vegas Golden Knights at T-Mobile Arena. The Oilers made a great win here for this part of the season, but we're trying to find out if they can get the narrow win here, if they have it all back. The Vegas Golden Knights have already won the, sec the, the second game at Edmonton, but will the question be, can they tie this series up? Well, we'll see what happens if they do so, because it might be a hard one to take, and we may not know what will happen. And now, for this one, I have the last part of a commentary for day number one. This time I have the new special guest here that will be joining in. That means it's the one and new only that's bringing in. It's Roy Cruz. Oh, Roy Cruz. I never heard of that name. <laughs> that's right. And he's also along with Terry Cruz, and with that being moment, my other commentators on the other side will be also calling with Nickel and the center ice will be all for the name of, you know, Gangsta Beast. Oh, that's pretty cool. I guess this one's going to be a lot much different than that. So that being said is, we'll see you all later for the post-game show after this one. Now let's send you down to Vegas. Leave a Las Vegas, baby. It's game time. It's that time here, folks. Hello, everybody. It's Roy Cruz, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Terry and Nickel. This is NHL Playoffs on EA Sports. The time has come, and as we're ready to get this thing at T-Mobile Arena. And here we go. We start things up here in the way on 30 Stanley Cup Playoffs coverage of the NHL on EA Sports. Here is starting of this match will be fine again to Martinez and now he's marching itself. Right down towards the line of his room. Prisad will have the book here. He now finally merch itself. He finds Martinez. Martinez finding it again as the Pretendula would now have it over with the pass. Here's McDavid. He will try to give his own at the angle now finding an open look. The offense now finds again to Nurse. Nurse gives a swing to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl now finds it again to McDavid. In toward the middle, takes a shot, and it's stopped by Petrangelo. You know, a great way to have that one here. I was really seeing it because this one has turned to be great. Ever did you play here before? Because this one is like a, a big take on work. Carlson will try to get this way through as he's been knocked down in the corner. Takes a shot, and this one's stopped there by Skinner, and this one will take the save, and now back again to dry slide over. The start of his appearance goes down as Porbachev will take it over and as Amedio will have it again to McNabb. Give it off to Stephenson, he will try to clear it down, no icing whistle. So there's a move and this one's saved here by Skinner. Now he tries to find it again to McNabb, he now will have it over to Theodore. Pockets loses it out of control and now it leaves his own. Now he tries again to Porbachev. Has it across here to Theodore and now will over again to Amedio. A video battling along the board. No penalty call on Edmonton. Well, you see what the frustration is. This one keeps on coming down. There's not going to be a lot of choice in there. In between your range, this attacking is not going to keep on coming. They're going to let that one get hard in the face of it. fact. There's not going to be in much time if they're going to get there through. The pass by the Jamark is stopped by everybody eating it. He's going to hold it on with just only 6 0 3 to go. As right now, we are right here at T Mobile Arena in Vegas, no score. And now for the win, puts up here for the Vegas Golden Knights. And now he's caught her. Caught her right toward the left wing, and now we will find it over again to Gulsar. Gulsar now finds it getting a white cloud, and now he gets the Gehigal. Hagel on the shot. This one has been way on the shot of an open out for look. Golsar in the backhander. This one is good off the shot. Wide towards the net. Now finds it again to White Cloud. White Cloud now gets it over. Perry will have that puck taken away. And White Cloud will have it in. It is Simon Hagel now finding White Cloud. Now finds Colsar. Colsar makes a spin move and he goes down right toward the board. 
is a lot of hitty, uh, hits on the offense. And you know, this was not always the fact of it, Roy. I always have to say this was a hard one to take. Yeah, if you want that, you've got to get revenge on this one. And Martinez will give it again. Now finding Bergengelo. Here's a look at in between and now the offense is on as Forzi. On a moving front. This one's still here by Skinner. Skinner gets a Bergengelo. And now Martinez will give it again to Bergengelo and now find Goddard. Goddard swings in a shot and stop and good save by Skinner. Just 13 3 9 left to go in the first period. It's underway here in Vegas. Now with the win here for Edmonton as Bouchard will have it. Here's Echo, he will give it over to Hyman. Hyman will try to deliver it up. Now here's Vegas rolling nice, and now they're back in the offense, trying to give a deeper pass and over to Froze. In toward the corner on the left of the wing. Now he's off again to Morrell. Morrell trying to give up to Demsenko. Desnico. Denisenko will have it back, and Dreisaitl takes the puck away. But Dreisaitl try to battle for it. Now it's over to Barbashev. He says it across right now. Now we'll try to pick another look in the offense. Now finding Denisenko. He fires it around the net. Back to Theodore, and he will have it in. Right through the slot in the shot range. Just went stop here, here by Skinner. Good chance now, but this was not going to be easy enough. He can try to get this through. Dry side with the puck, and now McNabb will drive it over again, back in Stephenson. Stephenson, and their team goes offside for the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, let's say what this happened. Skinner was putting a lot of big of a save in there, and there's no question asking for it. How is he, like, holding on to it? How is he still staying alive? That's like a quick based question i got to hear about that. We still know those early stages right now is that there's no goal in the game in the first period in game four, and now Barbashev will have it, lost out control, and Brown will have it again to Nurse. Here's a chance now for Gagner, and he will have that one in the corner. McNabb will fire it out. This one is necked out. Stephenson gives it a video, and now he's off. Here's for Barbashev, and he went down, and this one is going to be like the brutal on the face off. Well, that is going to be a lot of hard in this range. Now Barbashev is going to be picking up to a video. And there is no way. That's going to be like a, you know what? I'm going to take over this one here. Say hello to me. Here in video, we'll have that bucket right down there towards the left of the corner. And this one calls it. And there's a first penalty call on the Vegas School of Knights. It's a very big chance. It's a big signal. Oh, the bat out there. This is not happening really well. Amidio's been trapped here in a penalty box. He'll get his first power first power play for the Edmonton Oilers as the first penalty kill will be on Vegas Golden Knights as Mike Amidio has his first stripping ball. Now there will be a start here for the Vegas Golden Knights. On that power play comes on for the Edmonton Oilers. Off to the win. Brisa takes a puck here with the block and he will try to fire it up. Now here's McDavid, he will have it over to get him Eugene Hopkins. Eugene Hopkins lost that puck and now he will have to fire it out or not. Recovered by McNabb. And he kicks the puck. Hyman can't hold on with that one. The one-on-one -on -one attacker now finds a dry saddle shot. And a big stuff here puts in by Gill. Hyman, that's saved here again by Gill. It's pretty easy techniques, and this one happens to go with the good, good ones to take. It's not always happened, but this one keeps it off. We saw him with the shot, this one has been stopped by Skinner. The buck leaves his own, and he will now fire it up and out. And Hill will try to give it over to clear the puck out, now find Brisson, and they're clearing puck out again in the Oilers' territory. Now the Oilers will have no chance, as Hyman will have it over with 30 to go. The look on the open by a man. The offense picks up and he scores. Ryan Newton Hopkins with his first goal and that will be their power play's first goal of the night in game four. Not the only chance now because this one really keeps it on coming. You know, the pass off doesn't really mention say is that Hyman had it. He ultimately has that curricular motion. And they give it off to Ryan Newton Hopkins 
This one gives a good look. The other side of it doesn't happen to be one of them. And he has that one with his go-ahead goal takeoff. Now the win with the Golden Knights. He will have it again to Ben Cinco. He's off again. He went down on ice and now he finally gets a Jose. Here's another one. And Senko in the corner now trying to hold on with the puck but it's still too close in the wing. White Cloud can't hold on with the puck as Hyman will have it over. The offense picked up a steam. Gives it over to Dreisaitl and now Hidu will have that puck. 7.30 left to go in the first period. Now he tries to give it up to White Cloud and he gives again to Hidu. And he takes a shot. This one's love saved by Skinner. Skinner will try to hold it on with the only 7.14 to go in the first period. Now the officials are ready to get this thing settled and ready for an face off. Now the Edmonton Oilers will win the face off here as CZ will have it. Stuck up in the corner, good takedown for the Knights. And Amidio gets it now again to White Cloud. White Cloud can't hold on. McCloy now finding Folk Jail. But Jail takes his time right now. He goes back over to Nurse and he goes again to CC. This one stopped. Higgy will have that puck and now again to Amidio. Here's a 2 on 1. In the bound. Crashes by the goaltender as Fogel will have it. It's not what you say because that one gives it a little crush over take out. That angle is not going to let it slow down. Barbashev went down, and this now gets back to Martinez. Here he comes. Now on a shoot. This one can't hold on. And this one is stopped again by Skinner. And Hill will give it over again to Vicengelo. Give the pass off to Colzar. Now Colzar right toward it into the right wing, and now finding a shot. Open room. This one has been stopped again by Skinner. Down to a five minute stretch range in the first period. Now finds Kane. Kane shot. Caught up by Hill. Martinez right over now finding Cotter. Good saucer pass to Kosar. And he's now in it. Back at it to screen it. This one is knocked in too soon. It's nowhere. Yeah, because it can't happen with that. With the screen and take. After you give a good saucer pass. It looks like you're going to have to have a, find another room to open it up. It may not be easy, but you may never know when you can get that one in there if you're trying it for the other hand. We saw it now finding Marchesoli. We'll have to try to clear it out. And some tired defensive men will be icing call on Golden Knights. And now let's have a take. Connor McDavid and Alex Pichangelo. Connor McDavid is one of his ultimately as his fast wheels that he has been going for one of his crazy techniques. The better offense is now even to take all of his chance and this one goes in. Alex Pichangelo has his shutdown ranging on his defender. He does have a pretty good offense to take over but it's a great knockout if he can try to keep on coming it down. I got a good two range in between. We'll find out who takes it in. Back to you. And now the Golden Knights will win it here as McNabb will have it. Here's a take down to Martinsell. Martinsell right now here, and here comes Brisson. Shot. Good save by Skinner. Oh, that's pretty close one in the range out there. Now the officials are ready to take the face off. It's a one nothing game for Edmonton. And now with the win put in for Edmonton Oilers, he will now find it to dry slightly. Good take on defensive for Fyodor. And right now it's Carlson. Spins it around, shot. Almost took it in there as Martinsell holds on. Takes it over. Now finding Martinsell. Looking for open room as Hyman will have it. And here's the take right now. He was on the other side of the offensive run. Takes a big whip. Dreisaitl. Holding on with the puck. Loses on. Fedor. Give it again. This defense is going. Denisenko went down. Oh, there's a lot of big haters out there. It's a little craziness to get it right in between. You're never going to make it easy. And they broke the glass. Unbelievable. That's they're going to have to replace a new glass. That's a painful. You see what happened. That is ouch. That glass is going to have to set in for some bill on the pavement there. Oh, don't touch not that one. We're going to have to let that one go with the pain. Huh? Is he going to send in the bill? I think so. 
Edmonton Oilers wins it. And that one deflected off, and White Cloud will have it. This one clears the puck out of here. And icing's whistled on the Golden Knights with just under 90 seconds. Now they're ready to do it again. It's still a one up again. Now for the win for the Edmonton Oilers, he will now fire in. What a stop by Aiden Hill. That's pretty close on that one, Rage. Aiden Hill never really wanted to quit. Now the official here ready to get set here for another face-off. It's still a one nothing game. Golden Knights need to get an answer to get right in. Now here's the win, CC. CC on the back pass and there's a shot and a save puts up by Hill. Nearing down the final minute in the first period. And they're off to do it again. Well, the Knights wins the face-off with one minute to go. He now finds it over. Pulls it down. Oh, that's going to be like a little takeoff battle in the range. And Jamar Scott now loses the bucket. Hey, you will have it. Give off to Stephenson. Oh, took the white down here. Thank you. Shoots it. Skinner denies that shot. CC on that one in the range, fires that puck out. And that one, Stephenson, clears the puck, and that will end the first period. one nothing to score as the Edmonton Oilers kick an early lead for Ryan Nugent Hopkins. We'll get to the second period when we come back after the break. We are on now to the second period. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. We're about to get this thing started in Vegas. And here we go, the second period starts underway and we're ready to get this thing started. Alright guys, let's have your take here for the first period recap between the two. Well, really well done for the Golden Knights on the effort, but their strategy is not enough to get this one here straight. I have a pretty uh, uh, odd feeling for them because they were really like been showing it off. That strategy may not be putting in for a lot of effort on their run, but the effort is, it's going to take a lot of time if they shoot it. Well, definitely what they can't do is, they can't leave them losing. They can't let them hang away like that at all. Now there's a win for the Edmonton Oilers, and now we will give it again to Hyman. Hyman's right across as Martinez will take the puck steal. He's now again to Carlson, and Carlson now he has it again to Brisson. Brisson has it over, and Bergenzola now finding a march itself. Give it back to get to Martinez. On that one, it's rejected. Martinsell, he scores! Jonathan Martinsell with his first goal of the game and now has that one time. Well, that's what happened now. Jonathan Martinsell made this one with a backhander easy to motion. Check out what he does. The backhander makes it slip and it just went right toward him in that. That's how you can start things off here for the Vegas Golden Knights. They are on board. Excellent play. I just really love that one here when Marcusol comes in with a good stick lift. And now with the Edmonton owners, they will win that face off here and they are in the offensive zone. As here comes the video, the Earths will try to clear the puck out of here and Ivan will have it. Another take here in between and now find McDavid. Shot! What a save here by Mike Hill. And now he's over again to Nurse. You can see what the reaction does. It, it's going to be like, what a tough this is. It's a release of offense. They can't let that one fool it over at all costs because they can't let that one spool out. Here back again to Theodore and now he has it. And the pass has been given over by Hyman. Hyman will have its way down and right toward it into the Vegas territory. That puck is broken up and the media will try to clear it out. He will fire that one buck out of here without being avoiding the tackle. And Nurse will have it over again to CC. And here's McDavid. Connor McDavid trying to look for his wheels on a fast motion, trying to get the shot, and his save puts up a heel. Now McNabb will have it over, and now he gives it again to Barbashev. Jamark shot. That stopped again here by the goaltender. Jamark to do it again, and that will hold it in here for Aiden Hill with 16.05 to go. Well, just definitely how you can play that one for an offense. That's like a, a hard steal, but this may not be what you wanted. you got to make sure you keep it out. 
Vegas Golden Knights wins it again, and it's Hill with another stop save, and it's only under 16 minutes to go in a second. Yeah, you could say what the reaction is. All turn me for the best. I mean, gotta clear the puck out if you can. And right now, as the Vegas Golden Knights wins the faceoff, as Cotter will clear the puck, full pressure's off for the Edmonton Oilers. Icing's whistled on the Vegas Golden Knights. Now they're ready to do this one again as the energies go loud in between the Vegas. It's a tie game. And it's that call now finding Bouchard. And there's the tip in for Jamar. That goes in now and they are back up on the board. Well, there is a problem now. That one got it open. Great screen. Yeah, that's excellent. What he did here for, for Bouchard and he just skipped that one with a good pass. That happened just like the last game against the Bolts and the Lightning and the Rangers. That happened to be Jim Mark's goal. He had that one tipped it in there too. Just like the, uh, the afternoon game. This one really has been dumping it up into this. Now here's the win. He will find it again if we saw it. And here he goes again to Jamal with another steal and now a goal. He's off to Nugent Hopkins. Hopkins now finding it again to Kane. And that one stopped again by Gill. Bill's going to hold on with only 15 13 to go in the second period. If you're looking for your next game, we've got our next one coming in for you as we've got tomorrow night's game here right in between of the, of the National Predators at home and it will be facing against the Dallas Stars at 8.30 p.m. And following along with the next part of the game will be the Canucks versus the Kings here at Crypto.com Arena. They'll be on the other side of it to kick all their time they are 10.30 at the same time, just like Vegas Golden Knights. That will be all here, only on Set of Beasts. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, because you will have tons of more to get yours covered. If you don't, somebody will. What a stop by Martin Ness. And Hill will try to hold it with only 14, 15 to go. A little bit of oopsie doodle here. Still a lot of time left in this period as it's still a 2-1 game at Minton Oilers. And now here's the win, and this one stopped by Gill, and this one will try to give again to Gigu. Carlson looks his way down, now finding again to Martinsell. Martinsell on his backhand there. Choose again! That's number two, failed up, and a Skinner with the stop. Echo now finding Kane, over. 13.30 to go. I have never seen anybody making it get that far. And Hill's going to hold on with just only 13 22 to go. It's a great way to have that one. Cover the puck up because if something happens, you have no idea what's going on, just freeze it. You don't want that one to get the puck sealed. Now the Golden Knights will win that faceoff as Des Dennis Psycho will have it. Clears the puck out and now Morelli will have it. Here's a take. And this one poked out of here. Great stop by the goaltender. He's pumped up in the corner, now find it again to Higu. And he's off to Morelli. And Higu, give again to Fruits. Perez. And Senko watching that puck in outside of the transition zone, and then we'll have to try to figure that one out. Poked to the way now as Vegas Little Knights are back into the offense as White Cloud will have it. Here's Roy. Toward the right wing, spin around the move. Fires a shot, Skinner makes a save. Under 12 minutes remaining in the second period, still coming to be a tight one in. But later afternoon, will be all determined. It will be the Flyers versus the Hurricanes at Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. i will be happening to here at 1.30 p.m. And following along with the next game, as we have our number one coming in by, it's all for the Leafs versus the Panthers on the other side here at Stadium Bank Arena at 3.30 p.m. Keep your eyes peeled on here for the NBA playoffs. If you're watching it, thank you so much. And for the subscribers, let's keep on counting. Yeah, we're, we're pretty close right now. Son of Beast will be happily enough if you get, make another shout out to make another one for the thanks for 600 subscribers. Well, definitely what I would want that. But I would say is like, get more reactions. We love to see that one coming in there. Oh yeah, I guess they do. Most of the time. <laughs> well, it's definitely what they all say now. I mean. They can't let that one here get fooled of it, but everybody loves reactions.
Everybody does. Yeah, exactly true. Now the puck takes away here, and now he has it over. CC gives the puck away. That one's blocked. McDavid with the ball. And this one's blocked up by McNabb. Here's a take for Stephenson. And now here's again to McNabb. McNabb trying to watch the cut. Peter shot. Save by Skinner. He's been looking it in right now with nearing the midway mark of the period in the second. Now the official teams are ready to go. If you already got your tickets for the United May Sandy and the BFDI tour, you may have it already down, and that one will be it. All tickets are sold out in between of the Fort Lauderdale and Chicago, Illinois, and the VIP tickets are already sold out too. But this timing, as Son of Beast will make a next video, we will talk about everything about the tour of the Anatomy Insanity and the BFDI. Oh, I would love to see that one here. Thanks for the community. We love to have that one in here too. The puck has been knocked out. Martinez, he went down. Amelia tried to save a day. And he gives back to Martinez and says, thank you very much. <laughs> I like that. It's a thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> like it almost grizzly though. <laughs> yeah, I, I love seeing that one here. It's a great way to hear that one here. We're all good enough for sure. And Jamal Sasson right now in the door to corner, now finding again a game. Shot. Whoops, saved by Dayton Hill. And Mark is still going down as the team is off the side. And now with eight minutes to go, he gets back again to Jamar. Carlson's got that puck here, and now he'll have it over. The offensive picks up for Richard. Nigel Hopkins on his way down. He now finds Jamar. Jamar can hold on with the puck as he goes back over to get it a nice zone. He went down. Here's shot. Gloved up by Hill. Holding it in. And we'll stop the whistle here. We're pulling 7.15 to go. Now the official teams are ready to go. So 2-1 game for the Edmonton Oilers, and they will have that one another chance for the goal for the Knights. And the face-off win will pick it up, and now back to McNabb. Send the pass over to Carter. Pulsar's got that puck. He's off again. Carter on the wing, and this one is another big save by Skidder. Skidder now finds McNabb, and he will have it over in the center. He gives it off to McNabb. McNabb shot. Love save by Skinner. We've earned a 6.30 to go in the second period. This one's still coming down toward the wire. We're almost at the end of the second period, but still a lot of time left. And Edmonton Oilers will win the faceoff as Bouchard will have it now again to Echo. We now find Perry. Perry up across right toward the end of the center of the zone, now finding Fogel. And that one is ticked out. Goes off. With the puck moment. Get back to Roy. And here's Connor shot. And a stop by Skinner. Double rim puts in for the uh, Edmonton Oilers. And now I'll give it back to Barry. And here comes the take as he will fire that puck out. And now over again to Morelli. On the dog, Steve Saucer to Bouchard as this one blocked up. White Cloud tries to deny that one. Here's the take. Morelli to go with the tie, and this one has been ticked out. It's not what the easy one turns into. It just didn't make it a lot of cut emotions in time. This needs to make that one easy kill. Here's Dan Senko on the backhand and trying to put him a rebound. This one's stopped by Skinner. Oh, what a great chance here for the Golden Knights as they will tie that game, but it's still come empty-handed. And now they're ready to do this one again as the Vegas Golden Knights are trying to fight it back. And now to put a win. Here's Cece. He and Nurse back the other way. And Dry Saddle now finds McDavid. Can't hold on with the puck as Hager gives again to Emilio. Emilio trying to hold on with the puck and now he finds again. This way he lefts it out as Hager will have it again. Emilio gives to White Cloud. Now we're total good for the Edmonton Oilers. 
Now back to CC, back the air away. It goes to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl working his way across, now finds McDavid. McDavid lost his puck. And Stephenson will have it. Give it again to Barbashev. Barbashev swings it over, shoots, and it's tipped it off here by the skater. And it's Dreisaitl with the puck. Well, you can see what happened now. I guess that, that it's just going to make it caught out of it worse. And he scores! We saw That's his first goal today and made the playoffs here now tied up again. Well, I'm really happy now because Grayson just made a great goal out of it. Great connection feed. Turn it over. What a shot. You know, it's not always possible. You always make sure you just get that one shot right in there. And it's all for one of you that can get that goal in. Golden Knights are in a comeback situation right now, and they will back down here to tie this game. Looking to get a leadoff score in the fourth game before time comes down. Marges held with the putt, and now finds it again. Martinez shots, Skinner makes the save. 2.08 to go in the second period, and now the both teams are tied up. Now off to another win, Martinez. This one is up high and it goes right toward the wall. And this one back to Rujan Hopkins. Right now again to Kane. And Kane looking for spin. Oh, find a good stop here for Hill. Well, I never seen a spin move. That crazy thing? I mean, come on, bro. Are you seriously for sure? And now CC. Marcus all in. Crossing gives it back now to Martinez. One minute to go in the second period as Nigel Hopkins will have that steal. Buck still alive in his own. Marge is for a lead. This one saved by Skinner. Really going to have to be a hard call. If Marge is would have had two, that would be two backhand shots to make the goal. Loses the buck, trying to battle along the board, and now Nigel Hopkins will have it again to Jim Mark. Come up, Scott. And that one goes on again, and it's off of the blocker stop made by Hill. Ekholm takes a buck seal. Let it keep it going as Richard will have it. Richard making his way through. And this one will clear the puck out, and that will end the second period. Here's the go-ahead goal for Brisson, and he will tie it up. We'll get the next goal in when we come back after the break. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Coming up right after the break. And we're all set ready for the final period in Vegas. Let's do this team as this one comes down to the end in game number four for the first night in Las Vegas. Let's have your takes here guys of how they did here in each period. Well they're doing really well. They made a comeback out there as they already have tied this game up. They've been really been struggling in the first period, and now they finally dug it back already because they've really been looking it up for sure. They did a great job at that point, and they're trying to work it off hard on it and again. Yeah, same thing with always. I've been really loving this one so far. Ever since then, that is a great way to have a communication in between. Reason starts with a shot, and it's been stopped by Skinner. This one will hold the play here with only 18.36 to go in the third period. A lot of time left in this period. It's still a tie game, as right now it's only two and two between the Canadian and the American team. And now here's a chance for Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl gives it pass to McDavid. Hooked it out. Martinez will do it again to Amedio. Amedio now finding again to Stephenson. Here's Stephenson's chance for take the lead. This one's saved here by Skinner. We're under 18 minutes remaining in the third period. Ready for another faceoff. Now for the second chance out there for another, another uh, faceoff. And Vegas will win it. Here's a chance for Borbyshev that was shot backhand wide. Now it's Petrangelo. He will have the butt. And he loses that one here. And McDavid will have it over. On the air side now finding Hyman. Shot saved there by Gill. The Golden Knights are back into the offense and trying to pick up the attackers. As Porbyshev will have that puck in the corner. 
CC Sky now. Back to Dry Sidle. Dry Sidle on his way down right toward the right wing. He makes his way over, and now Hyman shot. What a stop here by Hill. After a block was stopped made here by Barbershop with the blocking of crouching down. You know, pretty enough to say it for in between. Now they have a lot of them to take over in between. Got to keep on rolling it again. And here's McNabb. He will find it again to Theodore. Theodore makes his way down back to McNabb, and now finding again to Barbershop. Barbershop now gives it to Theodore. Theodore on a wraparound. Scores! What a good look as Shane Theodore has a goal ahead goal here now up by one. Well, there it is. The heat seeker now brings on for Shane Theodore. Now look at that play ball. You know the Ocean's going to be having a hard time to get this win in there. That's what happens. He rocked that blast, had that one through, and coming about, that's where it turns into to be. They are going to take over. Now he's got it through. They are really been gassing it off. They're showing up a lot of superior and mixed playing with the support. They keep on going it down. Right now, here's another win here for the Edmonton Oilers as they will have an ever win a chance as Jam Mark again to Dujan Hopkins. Club set by Hill. He's doing really well in his offense, but now he's looking to see if he can get their win in Vegas. Now Edmonton Oilers wins the faceoff as now again to Nugent Hopkins. This will block the shot. Kane. And that one will set it out. And this one will block it over. Roy, now finding Cotter. Cotter, swings across, he finds it to McNabb! What a save here by Skinner! And Skinner keeps on going. This is never going to happen like that. And they really been looking like he wanted to get that one in there. That's a lot of chance there. And now he's another take here for Kolsar. Kolsar now finds it again to Carlson. And Carlson will now find it in the op. Are now Nurse, and now Evander Kane trying to give it off, and their team goes offside. Now their teams are ready to be set here on ice, and there's only there's just a couple of uh, minutes in between. We're under 15 minutes remaining in the third. And Vegas will big win again. But Changelo now gives again to Market Sol, and now he gives it off to Carlson. Carlson lost that puck as Jam Mark's guy out. Hallmark fires it out. Pachangelo with the puck recovery. It's rebounded by Martinez. And here's Carlson. Oh, we're looking for a kind of rebound. What a save put in here by Skinner. Oh, this was not really what you really wanted to go with. Don't judge me. Martinez shot. And a save puts up by Skinner. Well, you know what Skinner was able to do that one a lot of time in. And this. This would have been like a, a hard chance to get this through. Not enough to beat out through it, but got to keep on going. Now the teams are ready to be set here for the faceoff. That's right now it's still a 3-2 game. Boilers wins the take faceoff as Connor McDavid wins it. Vegas are back in the other, the other side of the zone. Now we'll try to give it off to Carlson again. And Brisson with the puck. Now he finds it the way to march itself. He gives it again to Petrangelo, and now he's over again to give some attackers finding a bound to Forte. Great puck moving here as one of will have it. And the puncher goes in. Jonathan Marchant Salt with two goals, and now it's set up 4 2. Now that was happening here. Jonathan Marchant Salt had that one ticked in already. But well, it was a great uh, chance to make the to pick Tipper in there. It was a good chance that turned to be like it's just a wrist in between. That's a great tell. A lot of strategy for Jonathan Marjussel to get that one kicked in. It's very good. Keep me an eye on us. Prime. Edmonton Oilers wins the face off and now it's back the airway. Here's an RT. As McNabb will have it again. Morelli fires it around that. And now he's over again. Now find Theodore again to McNabb. Buck will lose it. And it finds Theodore. And the Buck loses it. And there's a delayed penalty call on the on the Edmonton Oilers. The extra skitter is on. Well, this what's happened now. There you go. The Oilers are in the penalty box. That's a good night for you. 
Don't just try to judge us, the Andrei Sino. Not a chance right now as their power play is on right now for the, for the Golden Knights. And now this will be taking the chance here and they're ready to take games on. Jay Budo with the puck and now he will have it over again to Marjusel. Marjusel shot, this was blocked. And another penalty call. Oh boy, looks like Edmonton Oilers are having a rough day. Seems like it's going to be like a, going to be a close game, but this was not too good. This is going to be a hard takeover there, and they're, they're not happy with the call. You know, you know the frustration happens because they march and salt. Just really saw that one going in there, and he's noticing, okay, I guess I'm ready to take an R1 here, and they're all there happy enough to get that one back. It's now a 5 on 3 advantage for the Golden Knights as right now Eric's extension coming in along. And the wing will put in for the Oilers as they will clear the puck out. CC gives it off to Gagner and now Gagner will try to handle it out. This one stopped here again and now Cotter will have it. Cotter gives it over again to Brisson. Brisson right toward the corner trying to get to Roy's shot. What a save by Skinner. Gagner trying to hold it on, and now back to Nurse, 45 seconds in the power, 45 on 3 power play, Gagner, in her long boy, has been stopped by Aiden Hill. Now this is no call, Aiden Hill just really keeps that save alive, that one's going to be a hard one to take. Now the officials are ready to take things on here on the, on the ice, it's 4-2 Golden Knights. And the Knights will win the face face off. Caught a radical breakaway chain. Campbell done. Isharnas back again to the Eugene Hopkins. And a shot. Blocker saved here by Aiden Hill. Yeah, Eugene Hopkins went down, and now this one will come in. Goddard trying to race it out. Looks like he's ready to take his own time. And right now this one is a four on five advantage right now as Matt and Yamark still in a penalty box. And here's a takedown of Brisson. Now I'm finding it again to Virgangelo. Virgangelo works his way across. He goes down. Looks like his time's almost up. They gotta make it. Brisson, shot. In the back end, he scores. Oh, what a tip in rebound. And Roy will have it in there, and he has another goal for the Golden Knights. Let's see what the rebound is put in for Roy. That was happening. It just went tipping in there and it just waits around it for a second and said, wait a second, I got I had enough of you. This one turns it over. That skitter didn't really get the save out of it. It just had to be a relief. Just pressing on that one. This range is not turning to be one of the favorites out there if they're kicking it out of here at all the time. This was not what the day is, but the power play seemed to be okay. They're finally gotten the win with that. Oh man, we do have another goal for the penalty goal. That's going to be on Edmonton. Now oh, they're fighting this floor right now. It's 0-3, and they're a penalty kill. You're going to have to wait for your own life. Cece's now in the penalty box. That is a bad call. Now they're ready to do a narrow power play for the Golden Knights as they are, as they are going with Loud in Vegas in the T-Bowl Arena. It's a 5-2 game. Now the Everton Oilers wins the faceoff as Yasharnias will have that puck in and will clear the puck out. Now his timing now goes back to Shea Fedor and he will give it the deep pass to Stephenson. Looks like he wanted to do this. Oh, almost had that one in there. But that one's going to be taken out of here too soon. Shea Peter loses the puck, and Marjusol will have that one scrubbing in. Looks like he wants to give it to Stephenson, and now off to a video, and that one's deflected again. Brown gives it over. Now finds the R way, looks around. Peter will have that puck in range here. Gives it again to a video. And Stephenson will recover the bucket, and now he finds it over again in 
Marcus Silk still outside to recover. Now give to Fedor. Here's a take. Fedor shot. And a save puts up by Skinner. That one's no joke out there. Because Skinner really didn't have that lot of timing to get this one through. This was really the hard and the deprecating of the work. It's just not even easy at all. They have to do some a lot of it and take the step-by-step motions in. That shot has been tipped out. It looks like his time is about to expire. CC shorthanded is now finished right now as the power play comes to an end for the Golden Knights. It is now a one, one free in the making. While I know they're really like a stepping in it because of this point, they never really wanted to get that one owned at all times. They never really wanted to have that one facing along the winner of this game. And they can't let that one get fully in for any tackles. They really can't let that one go right between. This is a lot of heavy motion in between the boats. You know what's grabbing that one with the packing of the passing of the pass. Now finding dry saddle with five minutes to go in the first period. Here's McDavid off to Hyman and this one stopped again by Hill. Roy will clear the puck out of here. And Kulsar will keep the play alive as Icing's wave off. Here's a chance for Martinez, and this one is knocked in out. Now back the airway, as you can knock will have that one in. He gets off to Echo, and now he finds it over to get to Yamark. And Martinez, shuffle down, and Hill makes a stop. Gotta cover that puck here quickly, because this one will not be easy enough to get up affordable. Let's see who has a call. I go to St. Gates the Beast. Connor McDavid's doing really well with his wheels. I know he's fast, but hey, let's be honest right now, but Connor McDavid has really got a fast on wheels to take all this time. You know, effort is not where we all is work for us, but don't judge that. They've really been keeping in between. Martin has a back end, scores! What a shot! And that one now extends it up, Vegas Town, 6-2. Call it a back end beauty. That one happens to be Alex Martinez, and he just had that one slipping it out. Just let it go with the flow, and he just had that one go. That is like the biggest look that you ever seen that drive. Now that's what they call it right now. Alex Martinez had that one with a great goal. Looks like the Vegas Town is tied up again. We're ready to rip it up for another game night before heading back to Edmonton, Canada. Potential lost that puck, he now finds Kane. Kane just went right toward the back of the net. And here's again a Frost. Frost A will have it now back again to Delmark. And now we'll have to try to get back to Kane. Evander Kane and Houston have getting shots blocked. Morelli now have it over to get to Martinez. The deeper sending pass to Devin Senko. Off to in the middle, try to give off to Delmark. And it's holding! Oh, that was too close! Uh huh. Yeah, I know. That. Yeah, that's, that's where he was right near the red line. That was a big reaction for Aiden Hill. That was almost going to be like a almost turn it over to get that goal back in there. Everton Oles wins the velvet face off and now about the end of CC. CC worked his way through and now it's lost that one. Rochelle's shot. Save again here by Eden Hill. He's Alberta and now we to take over. CC's dropped the puck and we've just coming down to under two minutes to go in the third period. McCloy over again to CC. And Barbashev will give it over again. The Vegas fans are growing loud. Well, they're really impressed right now. They are having fun. Stevenson crosses the line. Final minute remaining in the third period. As this one comes down to the end, McNabb, Fedor, Carol Line, and McNabb will try to let it go down to the clock and go back to Barbashev, and we'll fire that one out of here. And Nurse will have it over. He pass again to Forchev. Forchev can't hold on with the puck, and this one takes it now over again to March itself. Martinson will close that game out again and they can go home for the win. It's definitely a great night for them. 
Look at this. The Knights fans are going crazy. They are loving this game so much. And they have been really having a fun time here. And that's going to wrap it up. The Golden Knights win their game, and they're now tied back up in t Arena. It's all great thanks. Aiden Hill just rocks the town. And they really are in, in all range. All salute to the Golden Knights, and they always make the win. And that will do for the game there, folks. We hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you all again for the next part of the game. Along with Roy Cruz and Terry Cruz and Nickel and Gigs and Peace, this has been a presentation of the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. Have a great night and so long in Vegas. All right, thank you guys so much. Time for three star players of the game. Third star, no contest has been bringing in here. As for all of it, for sure, it's Jonathan Marchinson with two goals. But the second star had to be Aiden Hill with 33 saves. He had just put it rapidly and stopped the force inbound. And your first star player, well, Marchinson's in. As I know, after uh, Martinez with his third star, Marchinson had two goals but unable to get his hat trick. Because at that point, it doesn't happen to be bad. Here's what I did with the total statistics. It was one in between, but no power play goal for the Vegas Golden Knights. So, that would account, but it didn't help. So that happened to be the end of it, for sure. Here's what I did with the total statistics on the other side. 39 over 35 for the Vegas Golden Knights, total shots. Then it was 65 over 17 for Edmonton Oilers. 11 a minute timeout attack over 351 for the Golden Knights, 91 over 70 for Edmonton Oilers, 29 over 20 for Edmonton Oilers, 6 minute penalty kill was Edmonton, and only one power play goal has made with 142, and no power play goal on the other side with only 433. Well, I guess that's pretty much everything. They played it really hard that point, and they couldn't get that one strong enough to get through it. Well, hopefully, I might not occasionally, we'll have to find out if there is another new way that they can get back to work here for the Golden Knights. As right now, they're tied the series up. Oh, yes, they did. I think the Vegas is a great team. I mean, just improve it that. Who wants more money? You never know. <laughs> well, I guess there might be a part of it. Yeah, hey, don't dress out and ask any question right now. It's a no-no, all right? Yeah, I know, I know. But, hey. Let's face the fact right now. Alrighty, call for a night. Yep, I guess we do. So I hope you all enjoyed this part of the game. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style of Game 4. We'll see you all again back very soon for the last four games in Game 4 before heading back into the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs in Game 5 and 6. See you all next time, everybody. If you don't, Somebody will.